feel me? Hey, Y'all, we just good. out here whole gang shit. Yeah. You know, this ain't no other city. I see you met a motherfucker. Baltimore. I notice these mannerisms. I mean, you know, I hate to say it, but they're very gay, aren't they? They're very, they're very leaning on each other. Yeah. Effeminate. It's very effeminate and uh, what do you call it? Uh, lateral and female. Dude, they're they're riddled with insecurity. Like this, if if toxic masculinity exists, this overcompensation of limiting yourself to a small pigeonhole, a narrow-minded existence, is because you're absolutely in. Insecure as a man of seeming soft and like a faggot. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It, it's they're steeped in insecurity, dude. They are. They're steeped in insecurity. This shit bigger than all that. We just don't be wanting to say that shit. We know people interested in that shit, but yeah. it's a lot of shit that can't be said in this shit. You feel me? Like I like you were saying, gangs and shit all around this bitch. All around. That shit ain't gonna never stop. These niggas ain't no shit though, but you feel me? What we on right now? Money block CC shit. You feel me? Yeah, Money block shit. I'ma tell you take you over there on my block. This four block, we shout we we do this shit together. Okay, so this I noticed as well. I noticed this with white people too, but a lot more with black people. It it's in my opinion, uh it's an emotionally stunted trait to put your hand down your pants in public. Have you seen like fucking like People do that, like putting their hands pocket. down their pants in public. No, down the front of their pants on their fucking dick. Uh, no, who does that? Like, did did you catch this guy just fucking do it or uh, go to do it? You're gonna go for his dick. It's a sense of security. Oh, oh, okay. almost. Here's here's the question that we want to answer. All right. Now, I understand that, you know, there's that resume study where it's white sounding names and black sounding names, right? Now, I just want to know, now let's listen to how they talk. Like, this is going to be A-A-V-E. Mm -hmm. Like, she, we, we just heard how that black bitch sounded, okay? Now, let's see what an actual black person sounds like, and let's ask ourselves if we think we would hire them, as a, okay? as a side tangent, though, I mean, uh, did they ever compare, you know, like, white trash names, like Caden to any other demographic did they ever do that? i say ever... that every single fuck we don't know if the because it was in one of the studies was in chicago and boston which both got black employers so we don't know what the race of the employer was their response is oh well either way it's still racist dude yeah well it, they didn't compare it to like caleb and billy bob they didn't compare yeah. white nail like it's a disingenuous study because they're just pinning black and white people against each other. Caleb, what about yeah. Asian names? C what about, yeah. yeah. Caleb, uh, Caleb, Caden, Zane, Billy Bob. They never fucking bu bust that shit out, do they? Uh, no, well, that's why I'm saying it's a biased, targeted study. They didn't compare any other factors. They left out every other factor. <laughs> oh, yeah, how is that even a fucking study? Not only that, but it's 100 to 1,000 resumes and there's millions of people in the fucking country. You'd have to base it by fucking geography. Uh, it, it's I, I love talking to lefties about that fucking study. They don't have a fucking leg to stand on. Anyway, let's let's just see uh, if we're going to have anything intelligent with this AAVE, if we're going to have anything philosophical, if we're going to be asked about the president. Let's see. Let's see how how uh, deep thought can go while limiting yourself to this verbiage. Dodging in the jungle is deeper than dodging bullets. <laughs> Immediately. And it's more pitfalls cool. than peer pressure. But Let's what see what they're talking about. Here? I know he did a few good things, but now it's been lately, it's been a little bit of stuff going on with him. So what, what are your thoughts on that? You know what? To be honest with you, I can't speak too, um, too much into that because I really don't know all the things that he's been doing. But I mean, the city's still, you know, fucked up basically. So I don't know like, what is he like, what's going on or anything like that. The only thing I can oh. see that he did is that now we do have a lot of street lights. So that's, you know, that was the was that was the equivalent of eating Taco yeah. Bell and trying to squeeze out a shit and a little turd comes out and that little turd was his thought. I mean, shit. I mean, it's the trenches. It's the trenches, man. As you can see, man, like this shit is run down. You know what I'm saying? I didn't grow up here all my life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that guy gets into Harvard. Or shop on Southfield. He robbed it and got killed, and his best friend worked there. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh. You know how I rock man. You know what I'm <laughs> I ain't got too much, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really got to too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we blocking shit. Face car shit, you feel me? Hey, look, though, this is what you came for, right? Look, all that clothes and shit. Oh, dude, that guy should manage a Panera. Can you pause for a second? Yeah. You notice these mannerisms. I mean, you know, I hate to say it, but they're very gay, aren't they? They're very... 
Ooh. They're very leaning on each other. It's very yeah. effeminate. It's very effeminate and uh, what do you call it? Uh, lateral and female. Dude, they're they're riddled with insecurity. Like this, if if toxic masculinity exists, this overcompensation of limiting yourself to a small pigeonhole, a narrow-minded existence, is because you're absolutely in, insecure as a man of semen soft and like a faggot. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's they're steeped in insecurity, dude. They are. They're steeped in insecurity. Fuckers know who they want. All that clothes and shit. That shit don't mean shit out here. That shit don't mean shit at all, bro. Yes, yes, yes. Regular shit. Gang you get shit. Whole gang out here. You know Where can he work? Get the whole. Get this so, paper. That's the only. How many of those? He can't even do over the phone shit. How many of those dudes have been shot by now? Do you think? Jesus. But like the issue is gangs. That's what's yeah. holding back Black Americans the most is gangs. There's a thousand hate groups in the country, and there's 33,000 gangs in the country, and like 90% or 80% of the gangs are black and Hispanic. 10% white people in those gangs. The gangs are the issue. Overwhelmingly. Unless these niggas won't smoke. Okay. Oh, okay. So do y'all claim any gangs? I mean, like, y'all can answer that or... or Man, like, see, it's across the country, too. Back, my cousin, y'all probably know him, Demo. I fuck with the moles, but I don't game bang. I just I got a crowd that I fuck with. My brother right here, brother, he a black stone. I don't that game bang stuff not in me. I'm getting some money, little dollars. You feel? I ain't. I'm chasing money. That's my game. Okay, what really holds him back, dude, is they just like I'm getting money, and it's like typically like I don't know in any other community they say how they're getting money. <laughs> like I never heard a fucking never heard a Chinese person go I'm getting money. They'll say like. I'm going to school to become a doctor. Um, right. I'm the assistant manager at a Taco Bell or like getting money. It's like, well, shouldn't you have an ethic as to how you get money? Like, isn't it important how you get I'm just getting money. Like, that's good enough never, for you guys? All right. You, you should never, ever, ever be front and center or loud or hot or hyphy about the way that you illicitly make money ever. He's like, yeah, right? I'm, make, I'm making money. And it's like, you're supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's the expectation, but that seems like it's glorified just the fact that he's making money. But that, but they, but they limit themselves, dude. Like this is across the country, by the way. We're 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 on a tour of fucking blacks across the country right now. Yeah, yeah, we really we we like us. We 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 doing some positive shit out here. We ain't out, we ain't out on no goofy shit, no hard shit like how we used to be. You feel me? We out, we on some better shit. Now. Oh, so you don't do okay. Good to, good to hear. Everybody got their own element uh, hanging around these people and this, uh, these sets of people. Anybody know gangs or nothing? That. We all gonna keep it real one of them. When we see one of them, we're gonna shake up, we're gonna hand. Uh, Tennessee's just known for like white people and country music, uh, except for like certain fucking parts, I guess. Jesus Christ. Can you understand what he's saying? Keep it real. That's about all I fucking. Mm. Going, yeah, but contextually, no. Yeah, yeah. Text, right. Contextually, well, like, like I don't know like, what he's uh, talking about. Got kids. You know what to do in life. Right. But you know, it was black youngster from up there, up top up here, right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was black youngster. Right, shout out to everybody from out of town to the south. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> This is crazy. We really shout out to you know what I mean. I ain't gonna say nobody else now. Gangsta Black. You know what I mean. Shout out to Gangsta Black, man. He still out here doing his thing. Holy fucking shit, dude! Do you see what that sign says above him? Cash, cash for diabetic test strips. What the fuck does that mean? It says, I don't fucking know. What? So I mean, because ah. because they have disproportionate diabetes. It's, it's why does it say cash? Can you cash? They like will they pay them for checking themselves if they have diabetes? Hold on one second. Patrice O'Neill on, died dude. of diabe diabetic uh, issues, didn't he? My man, that's one oh, of the yeah, biggest dude. influences in my life. Yeah, Patrice O'Neill. Uh, fuck, what a funny guy. He's you want to know what hurts the most? He was on some anti-white shit toward the end of his fucking life on uh, Anthony, uh, opening Anthony's fucking uh, satellite radio show. That's what really sucks. Uh, was, it, was it his uh, argument with Nick DiPaolo on air by any chance? Nick, Nick DiPaolo and Anthony. Oh, well, 
I found that one funny though. It's whatever, man. It's all bants, really. Well, it, it, if it's coming out of a comedian's uh, jowls, then you know, not that you okay, know, not that it. not that it doesn't affect anything. But I, you know, I don't think that it's it's hard to say. Like obviously, I don't want to speak for a dead guy, but it's hard to say what he would have to say about this whole thing. He'd be on some anti-white you know? shit. That's what sucks the most. I got I got hours to fucking prove it. He was on some fucking anyway. It's it's really a sore subject for me because that was like the clo that was what I I really he developed me as a man and it really sucks that he fucking was on some anti white shit in like the last year or two of his life, but apparently you can legally sell your diabetic test strips. It's not illegal for companies to buy and sell test strips like this. All what the fuck? Wowzers. Okay, <laughs> okay, right, wowzers, wowzers. Go go gadget wowzers. I learned something new today. I hate that neighborhood. Where do we employ you? Cover for a second. So do you think yeah. they would have a more do you think they would have a more difficult time understanding me than I would ha understanding no. them? No, they can understand you perfectly uh, unless you say a word they don't know. Unless it's Wait, like well, too that, educated of a word. That's what I'm if I if I employ quintosyllabic verbiage um w yeah. will they understand what I'm saying at all? Would they yomp No, I, like pol politicians get shit for like talking black to a black audience, but that's oftentimes the only fucking way they can understand you. <laughs> like, like I, I've heard this criticism, like, um, with like in black intellectual thinkers. I, I, I heard like, do you know who Coleman Hughes is? Uh, yes. Yeah. He, I found out. He's like a yeah. black Sam Harris in a way. I found, I found out about but, like, him on uh, AIU. Yes. Yep. Exactly. He like, he's, he has said, that like it would be easier for his message to go to more black people if he sounded more like a black person. We need there to be somebody who does what we do, who sounds better. <laughs> and what I mean is somebody who probably grew up differently than either you or I did, mm -hmm. and who has a much <laughs> richer, more identifiable black English cadence mm -hmm. and sense of humor than either one of us do. If we could get somebody who had that vocal presence, somebody like Stanley Crouch, who was very useful for that, but he seems to have receded somewhat lately, that would fill in an awful lot of this religious aspect. Because what we're talking about is the viscera. We're talking about warmth. We're talking about sense of belonging. And there'll always be a limit to, I know from my own self, I, genu I genuinely feel talking about race, I'm only ever going to be so effective because I sound like this. You know, I do it for someone like you. I do it with Glenn, but I just don't sound right. Mm. But if it were somebody like Jelani Cobb, not that he would ever express the views that we do, mm. he would sound right doing it. And so if this keeps going, if there could be a couple of people, and I'm not saying that you or me or Camille or Thomas or Glenn don't sound good, mm. but we need different notes. Most black people will listen to you if you sound like a black person, which kind of means they have a limited scope of thought. Because, like, for, for, for a room full of most black people, I've seen this with Killer Mike. I've seen this. You see when uh, Candace Owens spoke with, with like, T.I. and Killer Mike in front of a fucking uh, bunch of fucking black celebrities. Have you seen that? Saw a snippet. I try to, well, you know, she, yeah. she's kind of cringe, dude, because she's kind of like another one of those... Boomer. Anytime it's there's like, a bunch of black people getting together to talk, I sit there and listen, man. And she's another one of these like boomer placating, like astroturfed, like Dems of the real racist, like. But she's not a lefty, so I can listen to anything that's she, not a lefty. Anyway, anyway, and that's not that I fucking agree with everything that she was saying. But they can only look like they start fucking chimping out, dude. If you don't fucking that start your sentence with that, you were fucking depressed. Mike, do not Candace. let him tell Candace. you that lie. Mike, wait, Mike. Wait, wait. Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. Katrina, Mike has been sitting here listening to all of y'all talk. Mike, go ahead, brother. Oh, brother, go ahead. Niggas. Go ahead. Niggas. Niggas. Nigga, 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 nigga. Stop it. Stop. Everybody hush. Hush. And listen. 
because I'm about to give you the secret to what the fuck y'all are witnessing. What you niggas, N-E-G-U-S, of the royal kind, that niggas, N-I-double-G-S, what y'all are seeing right now are free people arguing over who got the best master. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The welfare system. When the government says we'll give you more money if you don't marry the father of your children, you are incentivizing bad behavior in our community. What happens when you remove a father from the home? This is why I do not mess with feminism at all. I'm not with it. This breakdown and mocking masculinity, making it seem like there's something wrong to be a man, all of this contributes to the breakdown of family. When you all right, remove- Hey, 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 hold on. So, hold on, brother, hold on. There's gonna be an opportunity for each of you to engage, but I wanna make sure this sister has the right to talk while she's here, that's why we invited her. So it's let her okay. say what she needs to say, and then let's keep it moving. Come on, y'all. The single, the single motherhood rate in the 1960s in black America, and they, th they, they thought that... Now, at a, the hold, single, uh, hold, hold on, on. At I a want to no, finish no, this. No, no, I'm, I'm, this is on your behalf. At a certain point, we can't be assholes. At a, at a certain point, these are black men and women, and in particular, these are black women. Like, I, like, on, on some real G shit, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter how you feel about her personally. Everything she has just said, Louis Farrakhan said for the last 25 fucking years. So, 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 uh, so, with no, and, and I don't know if she's a fan of Farrakhan, I know me and Tamika are, bam. But, but, you cannot take the truth and be mad at who tells it to you. So just chill, bruh, shut the fuck up, let her say it, and receive the information. That's it. Like, Killer Mike has to fucking calm down the fucking careening fucking screams echoing off the fucking walls if she's not leading with that they're fucking depressed and fucking placating to him. And then, like, T.I. gets on there and says some ignorant shit with a fucking affect, and they're like, hell yeah. <laughs> like, these fucking millionaire black people are like, yeah, we are oppressed. Kind of gross. Like, you need uh, um, um, community centers or recreation centers or anything around here? I um I, know I don't know if there's any community centers. You could build a fucking community center and they wouldn't know. Hey, is there any community centers around here? Shoo, I don't know. And I... Well... Definitely... Let's see. Uh, I mean, I went, like, the first several years of my life without really going or, you know, whatever. However many years of my life without even knowing about the concept of a community center. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it's way I more mean, reinforced in the no, black community. So there's no... Okay, so there's no YMCA within, like, biking, like, busing distance? I don't buy that for a second, dude. They just don't know. But that's what I'm saying. You cannot throw money at these situations. You cannot make someone want to learn. You cannot make somebody want to be educated. You can't... They need plumbers. You can't make them want to do a trade. You can't make them do anything. It starts at the home, dude. Like, they don't even know if it's a community center. How often do they throw money into these fucking neighborhoods and fucking nothing after fucking a decade? They don't know. They don't care. Yeah, they bring this stuff out. Oh, so w w what can you tell me about this neighborhood around here? Like, is it good? Is it bad or what? Oh, man, it gets serious over here, man. Oh, what kind of stuff happening around it, here? Why are you so smiling? You gonna see some everything right here. You probably see a nigga, a nigga running out with a nigga mama's house right here. So, like, is this cool? Right that, like, they oh, sound so like this? Do you, do you oh. have problems with the police around here? What? Like, you know, are the police, they treat the people right Are we really or, trying or, to or, appropriate you know, this? Like, like, once they, right, Hope they, they not. Us, and, and then they uh, uh, treat us wrong and shit like this. Police better yeah. come around here. Yeah, bad at night. Uh, and when you do so strange, you know. Okay, so this I noticed as well. I noticed this with white people too, but a lot more with black people. It, it's, in my opinion, uh, it's an emotionally stunted trait to put your hand down your pants in public. Have you seen, like, fucking, like, people do that? Like putting their hands pocket? down their pants in public? No, down the front in of their pants on their fucking dick. Uh, no. Who does that? Like, did did you catch this guy just fucking do it or uh, go to do it? No, I didn't actually. Yeah, Probably and the and the and the blue shirt. Here. I've noticed this. Like you know, are the police they treat the people right or, or you know? Sometimes like like once they right, right, they treat right, us right, right, right and, and then they. And the blue shirt gonna go for his dick. Like it's a sense of security. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh. 
Almost. Uh, you doing some strange in thing, like rob me and battle some of the day. They might talk with you then, but for then, like, I just come like with you. Nah. Uh, Y'all were saying something about the, the gangs. What, what kind of Inish. gangs in this area? Like, Man, you got Avier, you got gangsters, by Lord. you got Stone, yeah. and you get busy. You got all type, of, all type of shit out here. I'm by Lord. Oh, you is? Yeah. I ain't shit. To be honest with you. <laughs> Okay, so you said you from South Jackson, so is that the gangs in South Jackson? That's just the ones around here. It doesn't sound possible for them to be academic in any capacity. Man, uh, every one of my no one. Every, street one man, I ain't gonna throw my tongue right now, man. Like, I'm a storyteller, you know what I'm saying? Like, I speak about, I speak, I, I speak about life real life shit, man. Shit that I done been through or shit that I done witnessed somebody else go through, you know what I'm saying? I try to inspire every listener, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't with that old fool gaze there. All of it's man, chest shit. puffing, all of it's man, virtue signaling. With me, man. Forever forward, man. P -H -A -E -V -A, P -H -A -W -T -Y, man. Follow me on everything, man. And, and, and the music gonna speak for itself, you hear me? That's your, that's your name on all your social media? All my social media, everything. Yeah. Okay. Spell, that, I don't, spell that again. P H A E V A P H A W T Y. Forever fought it, man. You know what I'm saying? A little southern, little southern grammar with it. You know what I'm talking about? We don't say forever down here. We say forever. We don't say forever. How white does that other bitch sound compared to these actual black people? <laughs> oh, hold on a second. So, yeah, I find yeah. I do find myself saying, yeah, I'm just, I'm tripping on this. I'll say that too. Like, I'm tripping on this whole thing about how I affect, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You feel me? Like, I, I definitely catch myself saying that. I, I resent it, dude. So when I see that you bring up that previous girl we were talking about and responding to, like, I don't know, man. Like, if if if, uh, if she wasn't like 10, 20 times bigger than I am, it would be interesting to get someone like that on a pod, a podcast. Be like, listen, like, yeah, I, I half agree with you. I I don't like the fact that I find myself affecting that, but here's why. Here's why I think it is. I, I think that part of the conversation is missing because, again, it's all projection and, like, gaslighting and shit. I, you, yeah, you didn't ask this. Well, I feel like that's, like, the, I think it's going to be maybe the biggest takeaway. and People aren't even going to fucking realize it. But, like, it's not, it really isn't your fault that you speak that way. <laughs> you didn't choose it. It was literally thrust upon you subconsciously. And it was socially reinforced that it was the cool way to speak. Yeah, and then... Dude. Yeah, the, uh, you're stuck speaking that way. Chronic 2000. What was that? 2001. What What is that album called? I don't. Yeah, 2000. 2000. Chronic 2000. So, I mean, that was like the hot. 14, 15. Huh? 14 or 15 years old. Well, either way, like that at the time, like that was like the hottest record. And even if you weren't into rap, you were constantly hearing it, hearing about it, people hearing people rap it, hearing people quote it or whatever, like. Even if you were in a conversation where you had no frame of reference, you were hearing about it, whether you knew it or not. This is one example. Yeah, black people don't I, have representation. Yeah, just, exactly. That's one of one many. Example. That's one example. I mean, the movie How High, the movie Friday, the fucking Half Baked. You know. All I want to do is in a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Woo! There it is. Gangsters. I, I, like, right off the top of my head. Dangerous Minds with the Gangsters Paradise song. Dude, I remember my boomer stepdad, yep. like, he... Uh, he works in the inner city and he fucking the uh the ave stuff as well and uh i just remember him not getting it in his boomer brain because i, I guess he couldn't look past the title of the song like he thought that it was a song glory because we know the song gangsta's paradise is sort of like an anti gang bang anthem of sorts and i remember him like yeah not getting but it i know but like he shouldn't get he, it. Like he, I remember from, him like basically not getting that it was an anti gangbanger anthem and uh, thinking that it was. In well, yeah, favor but, for, of it. but he he shouldn't get it. He shouldn't get it. He's like, why the fuck are you like you don't you're not in gangs? Why the fuck do you care about not being in a gang? That should be confusing to him. Why is that cool? No, to no, you? No, why no, are you no, saying no, those words? No, 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 no. It shouldn't be because he's been a yeah. He's been a, a firefighter in the inner city of Milwaukee for like twenty five years. So like, right? shouldn't that, like none of that should be confusing to him, <laughs> unless he's again unless he's a blockheaded boomer, which you know, uh, I guess he is worried about uh, other shit. But yeah, but like I don't know, a lot of boomers probably wonder like like it's how I feel about music that comes out. I'm like, how is that cool? 
Like, hey, when dude. you get to a certain age and something new comes out, you go, why is that cool? It's just cool because people think it's cool. You're a fag. The crap, <laughs> the, crap that, the crap that comes now, it's like... That is not fucking music, dude. Like, I... I, dude, I it's remember, not even close. I remember that annoying, like, you know, when the fuck did that come out? Like, sometime in the late 90s, between the late 90s and the early to mid-2000s, like, that whole, yeah, yeah. Like, I used to, in that new metal crap, that yo metal crap. Oh, like, yeah. All of that no, stuff, new metal, yeah. That was my shit. All, all of that shit, I used to make fun of that shit so hard, but that shit seems like a happy memory compared to the shit coming out now. Yep. I couldn't agree would, more. Dude, I the, would, the shitty I, rap. Dude, I would that I heard on the fucking bus. I go back and listen to it now, and I thought it was shit then, and I go, that's actually decent now compared to what the fuck is coming out. It would, I mean, I would put on some Seven Mary 3 or Nickelback or Slipknot or whatever and love it compared to what the fuck's happening now, man. Right. I didn't like it then, and I like it now way more than <laughs> know, what's on dude. now. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> what's going on, man? Oh. Killing everybody or trying to get across the river if you try to cross that bridge, like, you know what I'm saying? Is this one of the worst or how, you know, how is it around here? This is Yeah, like, why do I talk like a black guy from New Orleans? Isn't that strange? You keep saying, now I'm saying, why do we speak similarly? Across the country. <laughs> they all bad, huh? I say this with no disrespect. It's like a fourth grade reading level. <laughs> Like, objectively. Right, chill. <laughs> he rapping right now? Uh, no, he's trying to talk. Imagine being a white employer interviewing any of these people for a fucking job, dude. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, here's what, I mean, they would be mortified at the prospect of rejecting their application or their interview because they don't want a, uh, a sea out or a riot or a mob to descend upon their business. I mean, that's, that's at least the milieu today. Like, that's the chilling effect right, of right now. How well would your business do if you hired them? Like... I know that they're acting, like, informally because they're not, like, at work or whatever. But, like, how do you switch out of this <laughs> as much as you need to to be presentable in society? Yeah, they seem pretty down the fucking rabbit hole, dude. They see, hey, hey, whatever it is, they seem really proud of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? Feel me. Yeah. How's the police around here? Where are we now? Shoot the people right around here. I mean, police, they, they, they been getting really worse. You know what I'm saying? Police been getting worse than they was. Slight on the crime shit. Okay, so dude, this is why I say it stems from insecurity. Like, did, did, did any of them really seem confident? It's like what you said with how they're like moving around and like kind of nervous and fidgety and shit like that. Can you pause it? Can you pause it? What were but it, it, it's like it's like what you were saying with like how they move. Like you you were attributing it to, to like being like feminine. I attribute it to like insecurity. Like, right. I don't know. They, they, it's kind of like seeing like an eleven year old on camera. Like it's just insecure. Like he doesn't buddy, know what uh, to say. Our, our buddy Fleissner, uh fucking I. I'm thinking of videos that we forgot in our deep dive, but I had you know, I had a fucking exchange with him outside the fucking abortion clinic where he's just like laying into me about my past like in the punk scene about how nobody in the city likes me because i became right wing and a, a because i became a men's rights activist this is this is their pejorative term right being a, like, yeah. i've never i've never like 
identified that way. I've never been like, oh yeah, I'm a men's rights activist. That's just a pejorative term that fucking urbanite fagaloons uh, <laughs> employ against ideological nonconformists. It's it's one of their cancel. Yeah. It's one of their cancel buzzwords. But as he's calling me all these like buzzwords, he's doing that same pacing back and forth, never making eye contact, sort of fidgeting around, like doing that whole thing. And I'm standing there just. I'm just standing there, right? I'm trying to like assert myself right. and you know be a man, right? Just answer for what he's talking about and just you know, calm nerves. But you can see how high there, his nerves are and shit like that. Standing there, being like, no, I mean, I've looked into what the left is about, and I don't really agree with the far left anymore. And that's that's part of why I'm doing this. I'm sort of showing the world. I'm showing like the middle ground people what's going on on the left right now because they doubt me in what I'm talking about, and that's. You know that's that's the gist of why I'm doing it. Um, but it's imagine it's how just, insecure you have security, to be. Security, yeah. Imagine it's imagine how insecure you have to be to cover your face and go, "Let's go outside, dude. Let's fucking go outside the university." Imagine how <laughs> how insecure you have to be to cover your face, wear sunglasses indoors to fucking say that to another fucking man. How insecure yeah. do you have to be? You gotta be some. Yeah, brand, you gotta that pacing be either, and shit. It's just any brand of insecurity or effeminate affectation where you, uh, you know, it's the up talking. It's the, um, oh my the, god, up talk! Like, like so, this is what you're supposed to do. Ending every sentence with "you feel me," "you heard," like that sort of yeah, that, repetition. Well, that implies a lack of security or whatever because they have to keep reaffirming that you are with them. Right. They can't, oh, that's a good point. They can't hear otherwise. Feel me, you heard, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I do know what they, you're... They I, want I, you to say yes. I do know what you're saying. I, I am aware of the vernacular that you are employing at this junk. It would juncture. be impolite to say no. They they, they want you... Oh, dude. The, the Young Turks do that all the time, where they end everything with right. Like, right? Right? <laughs> they're trying to, like, guide you with how they're talking. But I think, like, um, um this is just, le- like, leftist blacks, leftist whites are socialized to be that way in different ways. Maybe, they're so, they're, yeah. they're, maybe they, uh, so they're maybe, socialized to be insecure. Maybe, well, maybe, yeah, maybe the rabble rousers or the paid agitators or the whatever, wh- whatever their equivalent of like an alpha or leader is, is uh, able to prey on that sort of weakness to, oh, re- yeah, to round up supporters or foot soldiers, whatever. Um, same, maybe same thing with gangs. Like, you, also, you can yeah. tell that you can tell this dude's up to no good. This dude right on the screen when he's like, about the police and how I mean like come on he has to be smart enough to know that he, po- he comes police off are not, like he's trying to do right dude he he has to be smart enough to know that the police are not the number one threat to him it's the gangbangers in his in his neighborhood bro there's like, a camera in his face I've talked to black people where they don't want to talk about cer- like on a podcast where they don't want to talk about certain shit into a fucking microphone dude like, they're really afraid of these fucking gangs, dude. If there's a camera in your face, you got to ham it up a little bit to fucking stay safe. That's why they don't fucking report crimes in their neighborhood, dude. Even though it's anonymous tips, they feel like someone's going to fucking find them and do something to them. That's how, that's, if there's a camera in their face, dude, they're afraid to go against the fucking narrative for their own safety. Oh, I've if, experienced that having podcasts right. with black people. So oh, if um, they do an anonymous tip, is it that they like deduce that it was one of the people in their proximity and then they just go shoot probably, yeah. probably just like shoot indiscriminately at anyone that they suspect. or terrorize them right it's like well it must have been you because you were here and there and other place even if they're not going to kill you to get accused by somebody in a gang it's like the scarlet letter the fact that you might be a snitch that's how fucking tight it is dude and uh, I would be fucking really scared, too, if my own quote-unquote people instilled fear like that into me. It really fucking sucks, dude. I really am empathetic toward it. <laughs> it but, but the conversation never gets to get this far. Do you know what I'm saying? Shit, I said it again. <laughs> no, God another, damn it. Here's another, here's another one is uh, when I was thinking about Mary 3 and the Nickelback and the Slipknot and Limp Biscuit being better than today. Like, oh, yeah, I would bump that. Is that another I thing? Bumped that. Bump. I don't like dude, to bump. Don't last your. I, I God damn! I'm going through all of these Ave terms I know, that I that I used, I, and I don't. I know even, I'm a white guy that wears. I know I'm a white guy that wears a backwards hat and a tank top. I, I'm not as black as you think I am. I don't know what words are black and not. I don't. I'm a very brown white person, or at least a tan white person. 
For all I know, I got some. What are you bragging? Your voice. What are you ashamed is, of? Your white skin. Your voice is really computery. What did you say? So was in your. What are you ashamed of? Your white skin. Trying to brown it up. No, it's just a fact. I mean, I'm I'm more tan than your than a lot of these white dudes. I got the brown hair and the brown eyes. You know, it's just a fact. Gross haven't gotten uh, any sort of genetics to this. test. I haven't, I haven't gotten any. Oh, you haven't. Uh, I'm saying I haven't gotten any. You got uh, Huh? You got to do it. Do what? <clears throat> At some point, get the test, man. I got mine. Okay, you knew what I was gonna say. Yeah, I haven't gotten the t- test yet. Yep, there's good things happening and bad things happening. Chunks of bold motherfucker. Alpha. That's insecurity. Surprise, you could say that on camera. Eh. No, some some of them don't hate Trump. They don't like him, don't hate him. <clears throat> What's happening, man? It's your boy Wiz Propane, man. Compton, born and raised. What it do? Okay, hey man. Okay. So, you know, New York City, like, kind of famous because of like, you know, uh, in the past with all the the, the the gangster rappers and all of that. So I want you to tell the people what Compton is like today, because I want to know too. Is it is like it used to be in the eighties and nineties? Is it better? Or is it worse? Nah, nah it's not. The eighties and nineties, it was a little. It was way more crazy, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we're still going down. We just had a few incidents um, not too long ago. Thank you, 1993 so, oh, Bill Clinton crime bill. The exact same. A lot of people <laughs> got locked up. You know, a lot of people got killed. Oh, stop. Pause, pause, pause. About the crime bill, dude. This is another fucking, like, uh, conservative Inc. Uh, Blexit sort of flipping of the narrative when you when they when you hear him say like oh dems are the real racist bill clinton's and joe biden's crime bill it's like what are they doing but trying to liberalize the conservative movement by saying shit like yeah that? i see i see what you, i see what you, i i understand their approach because like i mean most people are normies and they're trying to attack the most popular narratives which is racism so I understand their fucking uh, their strategy, but on a functional, a bad, intellectual level, it's, it's disingenuous. Bad, it's a bad strategy because you're moving the fucking you're moving your movement to the left, and you're not standing up for what basically redefining. I know, but things are really far left right now. Redefining conservatism as being soft on crime, which is not conservative, and if it is, then conservatism right? is use. If it is, then conservatism is useless. In, in oh. order to be, well, dude, this, this is how fast things move. In order to become the president in the early 90s, you had to be tough on crime. And then in order to be the president, like when Obama ran his first term, he had to be a Christian. Eight years later, Trump barely had to be a fucking Christian. Obama had to be way more of a Christian than Trump had to be to get fucking elected as a, as a Democrat, too. That's how quickly things keep fucking shifting in the country. It's so hard to keep up with. Just, and you forget about it, too, when you don't, like, look back on it. It's just bad though i mean that's why i was saying earlier i don't watch someone like candace Owen. well i mean i have and i i do but what i'm saying is like i don't i don't sign off on um yeah i don't sign off on blexit because i i I know that the rhetoric is basically just like diet progressivism it's like progressivism driving the speed or sorry uh you know it's it's just uh yeah it's progressives driving the speed limit i know but i i i support anything that's anti-left progressives that don't not anti-left it's capitulating to the left it's it's progressivism that just so happens to not like abortion right hey dude when it comes to the left i'm by any means necessary however you get people away from the far left i i'm fucking okay with (laughs) you're not getting you're not getting away from the far left you're joining the far left yeah yeah that's the far left blakes it's the far left taking them off the democratic plantation and having them fucking try to vote conservative well, if voting conservative means being soft on crime and letting a bunch of fucking criminals out, then yeah. And 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 chastising, well, no, well, no, and chastising it's, it's not fucking, as bad. It's, it's not cha- as bad it, as as a lefty. 
chastising a tough on crime bill that got criminals off the street, then it's left- I know, it's a two-party system, though, though. Leftify, left, leftistizing the conservative movement, and it's bringing- Would back- you rather people on the right be in control, people on the left? People on the right, I mean, which is It's a two-party they, system, right. It's the lesser which, which of two is, evils. Which, when I say that I would rather people on the right be in control, I mean that I want them to be on the right, which means I want them to be tough on crime. So therefore, yeah, Blexit, I, 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 for Blexit I'll is I'll settle not, for as least left as possible. It's like I'm voting for the bitch. I, yeah, I mean, well, you're going to be voting for, eventually, when again, when we're old men, or like a little bit older, we're going to be voting for a so-called conservative movement that is going to be arguing with the left about who is more in favor of drag queen story time. All I can do is vote for the best available option I have. <laughs> it's not like that's, that's like literally the best thing I can do. Like, I like, would you, th- would you do a throwaway vote to a third party to like really vote for someone you believe in, which would uh, then take away votes from conservatives, which would then possibly get a fucking lefty elected. Yeah. I'd rather vote for someone I don't fully agree with, like so it's fucking, not a lefty. Uh, that's the thing, dude. They are lefties. That's the point I'm getting across. That they. Uh, uh, I lefties. mean, dude, that's. I think uh, it's just. I think it's just lefties. that I'm. I think it's just that I'm like far right, and you are maybe still center left or center right or something. Maybe that's. Maybe that's what we're looking at. Here. I'm, I'm. I'm definitely more toward the middle, which is funny because I say way more racist shit. <laughs> I'm all over the map, baby. This fucking, well, I disavow because, you know, you got to hide your power level. I mean, this is only like, what is, is this, like the Frieza saga or the, the Raditz saga? I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm the, wild, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the wild card. I go full transparency. All right, let's try and pound through these um, nuggets. No, so it's not as bad. You know what I'm saying? But it, it still counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw this but one. Look, bro, so I'm about to the nigga from Let's hear what they're talking about. Blood come like y'all get out in the morning. I'm like, hell no. Like on Dark Park, blood name. I'm like, blood name disrespectful. I need blood scrubber right now. Like as soon as they count, they clear count, we finna get him. He like on hood. Like now you turned up your homie here already with you. So he go back upstairs telling what the move. So he getting a haircut. He getting a haircut by a nigga from Tulsa. And I got the dorm on, on my son, I got the dorm. I tell a nigga from Tulsa. Okay, I am a hundred percent positive that the majority of the time they're speaking to each other. They don't actually know what each other is talking about, and it's by tones. Yeah. It's, so uh, of, oftentimes they'll wait until an inflection in the voice, because oftentimes a lot of them look fucking disinterested when someone's fucking speaking. He's saying. And blood, I, is, he, is he saying blood feast? I, I dude, uh, it is completely fucking incoherent to me. Is it? Uh, is that a name of a gang or something? I'm not sure. Uh, no, like, yeah, I don't, no yeah, idea. All this hair cutting shit don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just letting Blood know, like, you finna get a half a haircut. Dude, Fighting on me. But at all fight. times, the most important fact we are in Inglewood is about family. Respecting the parents, the grandparents, whoever was there for you. Right, right. So. The, less black, the less black they fucking sound, the, the fucking more intellectual they are. He sounds way less black than I think all the other ones we've heard. He's talking about actual family and like values and shit like that. And he's way more articulate than the rest of the people that we've heard. Would you agree with that? Yeah, he might be. I don't know, man. Is he is he is he like a, a high level Blake who's able to affect a more white voice in order to. He allows himself to think him? more. OK, but is it is that sort no, of because. Yep. Yeah. He's saying that we care about like family and shit and whatnot. I, I don't know if I, I don't compared know to the conversations we've heard. Compared compared to the things that we've heard, he is more articulate and he's actually talking about something of of some sort of substance. And I, it's it's just the correlation of the more articulate you are, the higher capacity you have to think of different ideas is what I will drill home for the rest of my life. And number three, stay dangerous. Uh, oh, Jesus, you had to ruin it. You gotta stay dangerous. God damn it. I tried to hold up. 
in the saying. Neck. So like when I, I like to, I always like to ask people uh, if y'all seen some of my videos, some other things. Like, what do y'all think about like our country, like the president of the United States? What y'all think Man. about him? Fuck Trump. 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 Hey, listen, Trump. let me say this. It's, it's, it's fuck Trump. Trump. But the, the only, the only, from my 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 perspective of the whole situation, it's absolutely fuck Trump because the way he's going about things. Is completely wrong because I'm from an immigrant. Articulate. And all that, so I don't feel all right. Right. Nuanced like, opinion. Time, More articulate. Have to say fuck Clinton and motherfucking Hillary because <laughs> they started the three strike law. You have to say motherfuckers started the 1020 crack law. You have to but. say fuck Obama for the shitty. Like everyone did some bullshit. So you can't just throw all the pressure on Trump. Right, right. Even though he is the most worst one besides Bush. I just hate his but. face. Articulation no, equals mean, intellectual capacity. No, I mean the worst. He has the most nuanced opinion than anybody else. Bush and Obama are probably the worst, but I mean that's a side thing. But uh, see how they are against but, tough on crime shit, but they right. say they're down with family values, but then they don't want crackheads or I'm sorry, crack dealers to go to jail. You know, like that's dude, why I don't like Blexit, dude. I, no, dude, I'm talking about this dude. I'm talking about the more, the the less nuggety you sound, and the more articulate you are the higher your capacity for thinking. That was a nuanced opinion. Do you, do you, know, do, do you see what I'm saying? But I'm trying to drive home that point because if you support African-American vernacular English, you support dumb nuggets. <laughs> There's a direct fucking correlation there. We are out here on Bankhead. She is right on Bankhead. Right here, these trenches right here, you know, got they what we grow up in. I guess you ain't landing landed native. Come on, that's it. I'm not test. I'm saying Direct correlation. Yeah, you did what I'm saying. I'm from the deck though. I'm from the east side. You did what I'm saying? From the east side, man. Glenwood, the border crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here on Hollywood Road, Bankhead, I fucked up a born home, man. Long little shot of local Carlo. You did what I'm saying? To be exact. That's an adult man. Do not know what you're saying. I do not. Okay, that's on the east side too, but this being warmer right now. Okay, what can y'all tell people who don't know anything about Pittsburgh about this area right now? Dangerous. Yeah. Just like any other place. Any other hood. You ain't from there, it ain't safe for you, period. Yeah, okay. So how does this area rank as far as the neighborhood of Pittsburgh, like, the, like as far as the worst? No, it ain't the worst. It's like, I don't know. It's just, it's just the same as any other hood for It's not, you mean? It's it not, go down when it go down. Yeah. Like, it you mean, it just, it's all the same to them. I don't say it's like the, the worst of them. Okay, what can y'all tell people about um, this neighborhood over here? <laughs> I love the fucking tight hood. Why is that a thing? <laughs> Do you it's see the tight hood around his face? Kind of Jawa like. Could you be any more insecure where you just want a nice tight hug the entire time? Like, why would you fucking do that? Still, well, yeah. Look at Ohio! Okay, what, what would you say about this neighborhood you tell people that don't know? Right. It's, it's, a, it's a chill neighborhood as long, long, you, long you know all the right people, you know what I'm saying? But we don't oh. like bullshit. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't the best neighborhood. What's You see, they don't know what each other is talking about. Oh, shit, man, it's real crazy shit, man. It's fucking cool. <laughs> I can't even tell you. you. Neither of you know what each other is thinking or talking about. I guarantee you. I wouldn't. <laughs> Dude, I want you. I want everyone now to picture me in, like, little tiny khaki shorts and a safari outfit with a fucking hat with how much I've been fucking studying this for the past fucking decade. <laughs> and a net. I'm on a safari, yeah. Exactly. Kitchen release. The police, are there any issues with the police officers around this area? It's probably the community and the police? Well, we yeah. recently here and there get chased by the cops, but uh, they, they be drawling sometimes. 
Man, Philly cops is gay. <laughs> no more, no bullshit. They like, like, yeah, yeah, they in no time. When y'all say gay, you mean gay as in like, I mean, like they weak or they gay as in like actually like. I mean, like these niggas will actually walk up to you, pat you down, right? Not find, not find the 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 pack that you got on this side, but they grabbing all of your nuts for twenty seconds. You saying shit like that? Homosexual. What can you tell me about this? <laughs> okay. So right here is like love. It's it's love. Like everybody got love over here. You know. Every time, every now and then, you know, we got we got little we got little disagreements with each other. You know what I'm saying? But it's always it's always love. You know what I mean? Right. Always love. All right. You know? People don't like it. They like to the own New York. You know what I'm saying? Who hates New York? <laughs> what? Q8, New York. What do you think, like, um, what, what, what's, like, the worst neighborhoods in New York? Like, what's, which neighborhoods is the worst? The Ville is, like, Brownsville is, like... Because there's so many. Brownsville, the Heights, the Star, right, which, which, where you in right now. What was this called? This is this Best Star. Okay, Best Star. Okay, I thought it was a little bit further down. Okay. Uh, this is the star right here. This is the heart of the star right here. But Brownsville, is the, that's, that's the worst. Bro These young brothers, like, changed their ways. You know? Like, back in the days, we had respect for one another. You know what I mean? Right. There we like, go. Now, these young cats, these young cats ain't got respect for each other. You know what I mean? They don't Every, respect nothing. Everything, everything got to be shoot them up, kill, kill. You know what I mean? Back in the days, we used to knuckle up. All right, you yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you win some, you lose some. You see, live, that's you my live. east. That's my that's my East Coast brothers right there. That's my East Coast brothers rocking it. No one else was saying that shit. Shit. That's some out of the movie Friday. Like that's yeah. From from what twenty fucking from thirty years ago? How long ago? What was it? Ninety three. That movie came out in like ninety five. You kids stay in nothing but punks, you know. I was picking up a gun back in my day you know this is all the protection we need hold up his fists you win some you lose some but you live you live to fight another day yeah dude that was That's 24 fucking years ago and it's still the, there's no growth in the fucking black community dude this 20 fucking four years later the same fucking things being said i always say no, that like it won't even you can watch I mean, one of those movies the same shit's going on and they'll they won't like challenge you one on one to a fight. Like they won't even it's like they won't even like sucker punch you face to face. They will fucking two to six on one from behind jump you, dude. Like Antifa. Like Antifa. Right. Who effeminate. trained who? It's just well, it's just gay, effeminate insecure behavior. Insecurity. It's fucking insecurity, man. Well you can't handle shit yourself. You gotta cover your face or you only fucking have multiple fucking people around like you're afraid of getting your ass beat like it's 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 a fear driven mindset why else would you be so quick to shoot other people if you weren't in a constant state of fear <laughs> yeah, how maybe. could you not feel insecure like honestly you like if you're getting outnumbered by antifa there must be some times where you feel insecure when you're outnumbered now imagine feeling like that every day in these fucking neighborhoods which you're starting to fucking feel like this feeling of insecurity like yeah. Yeah, if you're in a constant state of fear that they put each other in, well, do white people have to go in and wipe their fucking asses? Like, bro, who has to fucking talk to them to fucking stop for the love of God? It's been multiple decades dude, of I'm the same you, shit going I'm, on. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, dude, when we're elderly men, the progressives will be saying, yes, you do need to go in there and literally wipe the shit out of their asses. And the conservatives will be saying, oh, but the way that the progressives go in there... And the way the, the way that they go in there and wipe wipe their asses is the real racism. The way we wipe their asses is is what true do you call an oscopy? Yeah, we, <laughs> we conservatives, the, the way we wipe their asses is the real conservatism, and they're they, the way they do it and to wipe their asses is the real racism. How like, do you feel about Nick Fuentes? He's pretty hilarious, and uh, yeah, how, he's, politically, I mean, he's an actual right winger, right. What, uh, uh, PaleoCon? Whatever you, I mean, whatever you want to say, like, just actually far right. 
you could call him far right and you would be correct. You, right. you look at you look at the conservative like GOP boomer establishment. They are fucking liberals right. who drive. Andy, the speed Andy's limit. young too. Yeah. How do you feel when he calls out Charlie Kirk and shit like that? Have you seen that when the Groypers try and fucking ask him shit? He's got nothing to say. Yeah, that was funny, dude. That was uh, that was yeah. That was a media jack. That's uh, right. It's funny, like that is using the left's tactics from the extreme far right. Like that was that was a fucking spectacle to behold, man. Yeah, you can't fear uh, being called racist at all nowadays. You you, oh, you can't capitulate to their to their game. That's a definitely good point. Under, it's un, definitely understandable why one would, because you know it's extra dangerous these days. Dude, For just jump off reasons. the cliff. You'll jump off the cliff. You'll land in the water and swim your way out. It's not. It's not. It's never as bad as you think it is. Once you take that fucking plunge, dude, it is very freeing, though. To you not haven't like... watched. You didn't watch my Menominee Falls videos, did you? It's because I did jump off the cliff. We got okay. We got to do a podcast about that one of these days. Going yeah, I, I already have. A, I already have a lot to hack up in this one. <laughs> Let me just bang this out. Bro, we just want to shoot everything. You know what I mean? Bro, that that, that got to change. Bro, same. Black people just want to shoot each other. Something's got to change. Couldn't agree more. What's your name again, my man? Kareem Crawford. Okay, Kareem, uh, I really don't know that much about... I'm originally from Patterson, but I don't know that much about Jersey City, but I'm over here riding around, and it, and it looks pretty lit over here in Jersey City. So why don't you tell the people a little bit about... Um, Say that, Jersey too. City. Man, Jersey City, man, it's a it's an awesome place. You know what I mean? But, you know, just at nighttime, it get kind of hectic, just like any other city, you know? And just, you got to stay no. on your point, you got to stay on your pivot, you know what I mean? Some cities are safe at night. <laughs> Sorry, dude. The gang activity is, is serious, you know? And, and let me just stop and just say this. It's, it's very sad because it, it's not even the older people, it's the, it's the younger people, you know? And, it, and the older people should be ashamed of themselves because they're using these kids as scapegoats and gassing them up to do stuff that they know that they, that they won't do themselves. And that's why yep. it's so crazy out here because it's the young kids that's doing it. So like they, they exist on the main core, but you're from Toronto. Like I'm from Parkdale, and that's the, it's the heart of the city. Nah. So I'm a Toronto. Boy. What, what, what you say you from? Parkdale. Parkdale. Oh, okay. You know, you know that. Is. Now Toronto is about like roughly the size of Chicago. Like they like, both got like probably close to three million people. What, what, how did y'all view Chicago versus Toronto? Yo, I only been in Chicago on a layover. I didn't got a chance to actually like step out in Chicago, so I couldn't give you like a. Uh, Blown, like. Listen to how much more articulate this fucking Canadian is. He just sounds like a regular fucking person, well, dude. But, um, I mean, from what I heard, man, I know South Side is like wild, man. North Side's kind of chill. Do you see how he's trying to ham? He's like the fucking black bitch that we fucking watched. He knows how to speak to AAVE receptive people. <laughs> to like make it amicable. Right, he's kind of like a hipster black, like a quasi white presenting hipster black, you know, like that. That's a lot of the people on here on the east side of Milwaukee is, uh, you know, that that's that's the public you'll usually see is like someone who like dry and, uh, you know, like gaming and stuff like that. And probably some hip hop or, or whatever. But if they're black, they're still influenced to speak that way to another black person, like even subconsciously. You see how he was like, yeah, get like he was speaking like this, and then you know it gets wild. He's like, oh shit, I almost forgot that, and some fucking black words. Look at the Toronto guy. He's like, in Canada, we don't talk about bad cities. Like, he, he, if he was white, you would have seen the blushy red cheeks in his fucking face. He was asked about <laughs> to, to say, tell us where the bad places are. He's like, why would you do that? <laughs> That's how not, like, indoctrinated he is into this fucking AAVE fucking bullshit. Baltimore, that's crazy. Baltimore. It's, yeah, that sucks. Cali, mad time, so I just came back from there. <laughs> oh, it's, you know, palm tree, yeah. Man, Long Beach was our last time, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, what we say? Gang activity? Yeah. Uh, like specifically in Toronto, like generally, or like in this community? In this community or and in Toronto. Well, what do you know about it? Is it here and how bad is it? You know? Uh, it's here. It's here, you know? Like, obviously, you heard about what's going on in, in the news this year. You know, there's a lot of shooting and stuff. There's what, in Toronto? Spike of shooting. Yeah, you know? There's a big spike of shooting, you know? But like I, I say, it's here, and it's it's a it's a, a likelihood that you know somebody that either bomb, they you know somebody that you know they either got shot or whether it's the case they're in jail or they're just going through they're going through they're the little pickle, you know. Like, and the reason why I say that there's a likelihood of that is because the population as as they compared it to New York or something. Like, I heard like the la the landmass or the landscape or whatever is the exact same or like a similar size but like the population out here is less it's like two or two or three no and in new york it's like eight no and this year like there's either as much shootings or as much murders or a little bit more than there was a clinic on how to be a fucking couple of white dudes listening to a shitload of unwarranted fucking criticism and turn it into pure fucking philosophy and introspection for four fucking hours for four hours had to have you said to start at eight it's fucking 12 30 where i am and i was gone for a half an hour okay so it's more like two or three hours you know it might be a little bit no too, that's four a little bit too long to digest for some holy shit they might end up not well, even get i'm gonna cut things out be a two-parter maybe like the broad, i don't know the, the broad i'm just beginning. saying recording is four hours okay okay that's some warrior shit right there. Imagine that. All that fucking bullshit that was fucking said. That was literally four hours of talking about uh, 40 minutes of video. I'm bro. Oh, see, I did it again. White Fuck. Yeah, well, white people will end it here. You know, I'm just saying white people were thinky boys, you know? Not like the Chinese in terms of math. Not in terms of, like, uh, I don't know, predatory power like the small hats, but we're just very philosophical, <laughs> you know? That tends to be where we do our best work is philosophy and thought and advancing things. I don't know. I feel like that was, like, the whitest thing we could have done is what we just fucking did. <laughs>